All right, I'm eating my breakfast. Egg and cheese. Turkey sandwich. Anyway, as I listened to the other video, I noticed that I left out a few things that I was going to touch on, but I just completely went over it, so I'm going to, like, get on it now. Mmm. Give me a second. I was mentioning about the faggot butch and the faggot Jonathan. The parts that, um, what well, I was mentioning about the faggot Jonathan was when I stopped hustling in front of the motherfucking building, these motherfuckers spying on me and I ain't making up. I ain't hustling around these rat bastards, these paid informants, snitch ass homosexuals. I refuse to hustle around these kind of motherfucking people. Self preservation. So. Yeah, I'm using the camera for a mirror. So what? Anyways, um, when I stopped hustling in front of the building that the shithole that I live in, you know, Jonathan, faggot, flaily arm nigga, you know, like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm going to set up my cigarettes right here. I'm going to set my cigarettes up right here. I'm going to set my cigarettes right here. I'm the cigarette man. I'm the cigarette man. Because I opened up the market. You no, know, there was nobody selling shit. Nobody was coming there buying shit. So I opened it up. You know what I'm saying? I was banking. I was banking. I was banking. You know what I'm saying? When I stopped, this nothing ass nigga, you know how nothing ass niggas do, wheezing their way in. You know what I'm saying? He's only getting pennies. Pennies compared to what I was getting. Pennies compared to the dollars I was getting. But nevertheless, as I digress for like the 765 trillion time, so the, the faggot. You know, Butch Cassidy, the dick-loving faggot with the wig on his head. He, um, this nigga was staying next to me every day while I trap. Every day. While I'm staying in front of the building. Every day. Every day. Every day. Uh-huh. I send this nigga customers. I even send this nigga some bitches. My leftovers. I even hand him some bitches that I have. Hand him some bitches. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Take the bit. Hey, what, what you need? What you need? You need that? I don't got that. Oh, he do. It look like... Fuck with him, but like, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, that's how you got some of his customers because of me. Now, I mean, but these are the same niggas that stand next to you and stab you in the back. That part, these are the same niggas that are stand next to you and stab you in the neck, the eye, the leg, your knee, your elbow, and your thumb. They stab you. The thumb. They'll stab you in your goddamn eyelash if they could. In your eyelash. I stabbed him in the eyelash. Like, how you managed to pull that shit off? They'll do it. They'll try their best. Now, I mean, any opportunity these old busted ass bastards do to get a one up, they'll do it. You know what I'm saying? I forgot that I left that out um the other video part too. I just wanted to clarify that. You know what I'm saying? Because I was going to touch on that point. You know, that I was going to touch on the other point. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm saying, like, some greasy ass niggas. And, and, and they're spying. You know, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But now that I officially quit smoking everything, I'm going to remain smoke free pretty much for the rest of my life. If, 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 I, if I can pull that off. Pull it off! No more smoke in my body. And for no reason. Because smoking ain't good anyway. And there's demons in smoke, you know. There's demons that live in smoke. So, um, now I'm going to go through the withdrawal phase, the withdrawal phases of, you know, of the smoke. You know what I'm saying? I ah! get the demons out. Bye, niggas! You know what I mean? And then, it is what it is. It is what it is. But yes. These motherfuckers post up day and night trying to make money off of me. Slander my name, throw dookie on my jacket, pee pee in my iced tea, 
all kinds of wicked, nasty, insidious, hideous shit. It's a tragedy. It's sad. Now, did I really want it to go to Film Academy? Fuck yeah, I paid my tuition, nigga. I got the t-shirt. Got the fucking t-shirt, damn it. And I get uh, it is what it is. I paid all that goddamn money, wasted money. I look at it as wasted money. I ain't gonna cry over spilled milk, but I sure wish I can get a refund back on my money. Now I mean, like, yeah, I didn't go. Can I get my money back? You said it was non refundable. You did say that. You did say that. Bow, get my money back, bitch. Get my money back. Bow, 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 bitch. Get my money back. Yeah, that never worked out. So I just chuck it up as a loss. Hustle up some more tuition money. Hustle up. I know he's like, nigga, why don't you just get a motherfucking job? What the fuck you said to me? Hustling is my job, you mother. Bow, shut the fuck up, Batman, bitch. Pow, kabam, boom, boop. Batman like Adam West, the Adam West Batman, the Adam West. Some of you people like too young to, uh, to have watched Adam West Batman. You know what I'm saying? Batman with Adam West. Uh, some of you just know exactly what I'm talking about. Kapow! You know? Real shit. So, um, I just want to touch on that, not me. You know? It is a very, 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 very valuable lesson. Don't trust the motherfucker standing right next to you. If they're not on the same accord as you, don't trust them. I don't trust these niggas. Anyways, I, hey, y'all grown ass motherfuckers, though. Y'all can do what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Because I, if I never believed in a million years I'd be spied on. I tell you that much. I spied on? Like, spied on? Like, what? But, you know, after they spied on my president, they spied on my president, they spied on my president campaign. You know what I mean? And, and they started spying on me. I've been a Trump supporter. So I'll start. Here's, here's some crazy shit. We're at the seven and a half minute mark. Here's some crazy shit now. I forgot to touch on this while I was locked up. Because um, one of my customers, old customers, I don't fuck with that nigga. This nigga owed me 900 bucks. So I was, I was, I was, I was out all night looking for this nigga. The nigga lived right upstairs from me. Nigga, nigga snuck out all kinds of shit because, you know what I'm saying? The other residents was, you know, spying on me was like, Telling him what to do and all that on the phone, all this shit. The city is bullshit, faggot shit, you know what I mean? So when I finally caught him in the morning, I ran up to this nigga. I'm right across the street from the precinct. Right across the street, as you see. The right across the street from the precinct. So there's a tree down the block. I caught him right there by that tree, man. He had a mop and a gang of shit in his hand. Like, ah, ah. He swung that shit at me. I grabbed that shit, snatched it out of his hand. I started beating the shit out that nigga with, with his own mop. And the police, I swear, it was like within five seconds. I can't make this up. It was nobody there. I turned around. It was like 40 cops behind me. Like, it was like, oh, the Trump, got the Trump hat. We got him. We got him. We got him. They swarmed like it was nobody business. And so, so, so they got me. They locked me up. July 3rd, I had my court date was July 11, 7 11, because I was suing SRO, the building I'm in. I got all the paperwork, and I showed that in other videos, all the paperwork I was suing them. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing when I was locked up, guess who brings her monkey ass downtown, pandering for some motherfucking support? Maxine Pimp Driss Waters, the, the, the fucking poverty pimp herself. Maxine Waters came down to Skid Row. You know what I mean? Talking about, oh, yeah, um, yeah, um, um, yeah, we, we, we trying to get this billion dollar grant to, to help the homeless. Like, bitch, I got millions of, I got like 90 million a year down this motherfucker. 90 million a year in federal motherfucking funding. And y'all ain't do shit for the homeless ever. Now all of a sudden, you, what the, these monkeys. But I, it, 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 it slipped my mind, like, because, you know, she came down here, and I believe she talked with these SRO and all these other organization people. And they was like, yeah, we got a Trump supporter. She's like, a Trump supporter? You know Maxine Waters with her pushback. Tell them they ain't welcome here. Tell them they ain't welcome here. Push back. 
She was like a Trump supporter. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They found that was me. They was like, we're going to do the whammy wham, the wham, 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 wham. I can only imagine that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I don't trust Maxine Waters for nothing in the world. That bitch is evil. You know, I just remembered that. Like, when I was locked up, you know, before I got out, before I got out, Maxine Waters came downtown. You know what I'm saying? And I can only imagine that she um, directed her constituents to work hand in hand with some niggas to do this spying. You know, this, 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 this discrediting, this, all this other shit. Because I'm a Trump supporter, among other things. So I'm like, shit, I'm a trap star. Everybody out here is like trapping and shit. Like, I don't, that can't be the reason. It can't, jealous of the money I'm making, that can't be the reason. What is it? Maybe it's... The Trump hat. Maybe it's just because I am a Trump supporter. Because the cops swarmed on me like it was nobody business. I've been a Trump supporter. Like I said, I've been supporting Trump throughout his entire election in 2016. I've been his supporter. The whole election. I named my tarantula Trump. You can see it. He's in there. I got a tarantula. I named him Trump. No. Anyways, I digress. I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? You know, SRO asked Maxine for a favor. And Maxine got in contact with the LAPD because I seen a video with old boy who stayed in Chicago. And he was like, he go to crime scenes and stuff before the police get there. So he got like a little clap with the police officers. And they tell him things that, you know what I'm saying, they can't say. So they tell him like, hey, the Congress people are working with the police to pay the gangbangers to shoot up the neighborhoods, to bring down the property value. He heard that from the police. He got that from the police. I'm like, I, I saw the video. And I'm like, damn, like that's that sounds insidious, but it sounds accurate. And I just just thought, like, what if Maxine Waters, you know, what I'm saying, got her constituents to work with LAPD to run this motherfucking sham of an operation on me to discredit me, do all kinds of bullshit because they're getting paid money to do this shit. They're getting paid money for the videos and all the shit they're making and stuff. So. They get paid money for videos they make. Can you believe that shit? Can you believe that shit? They ain't get no money now. I mean, I fucked them off. I fucked them off. And I'm going to continue to fuck them off every turn they make. Until I get my information out to my president. And my president sends them fucking Marines to come round them up. SRO workers. SRO residents. LAPD officers. And bums on the street. Everybody with their metadata on their devices. Everybody logged into this fucking security system in SRO. Every civilian, it was over 95 logged in at one point in time. Everybody logged in. You're going to prison for the rest of your motherfucking lives. Your motherfucking lives. Yep. Yeah. So I want to finish eating my motherfucking sam my, my sandwich. You know what I'm saying? My egg, cheese, and, and, and turkey sandwich. Hey! You! Wait! You! Baby, yo! This bitch. Sing my bitch.